Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our next JS website designing series. So guys, now as we have seen that in previous video, we have done with our installation part of next JS and served the application. Okay, so we have successfully run the application. So now guys, in this video, we'll be learning how to integrate a bootstrap. Okay, so what bootstrap? We are going to integrate the pure bootstrap. Okay, let's get started. So now guys, let's uh, go back to our editor. So let me just minimize this and let's move to our static folder. So guys, this static folder is for like our JS or CSS or any kind of images we have to put over here itself because this will help out to make the website live also where it will not give any errors like the path cannot be called. So you can use it in that format. So inside the static, we are going to include all our bootstrap css and js files so guys now let's integrate that so first let's create a folder with the name css and inside this css let's create one file name called bootstrap.min.css okay so now let's paste the code inside this so what you can do you can go to getbootstrap.com and go to docs at the introduction, you can find the CSS CDN link. So let's copy only the link and paste in your Google Chrome. So we'll get all the source code. So let's copy this and paste in the file. So I have created a wrong file name over here. Let's rename it. It's bootstrap. All set. So you need to remove one line because it will throw an error. At last you can find this source map. So you just need to remove. Let's remove, now save it guys and let's close this file. Done. Now let's create a JS folder. Inside static folder, I'm creating a JS folder and inside this JS folder, let's create a bootstrap min.js file. So bootstrap min.js file that's it so let's get back and go to your documentation getbootstrap.com let's copy the bundle cdn link copy paste and hit enter so you are getting the bootstrap 5 version bundle code so let's copy this and paste so you are getting this last line right just remove that we don't require all set let's close okay save guys and now let's link this files in our next js website so first step let's go to our next dot config dot js file to link to our next js website okay so first step you can see that link over here let me just create it correctly here it is you need to copy give comma and hit enter and paste again and this rel is equal to style sheet remove this and here you are going to paste your file name okay so inside css folder forward slash bootstrap min dot css bootstrap dot min dot css file that's it so guys this is all about our linking the bootstrap file so now let's link one more file if we are creating like extra css files so for that we will create another file with the name custom.css okay so all the custom css we'll write it here if you can rename as style.css anything so as per your requirement you can change it let's give comma and add one more link for custom.css so let's save this and now guys let's test it so only we have pasted the css file not the js file let's see first whether this is linked or not so for that case guys let's go to our pages and at index view 
here you can view the tutorial code let's go to our index served application so you can see that guide to get started remove this tutorial and start coding in pages index view so let's remove this tutorial we don't require and let us see first bootstrap is integrated or not so we are going to design one bootstrap button so let me just create one div and create a simple button button and let's tell click me this button name is going to be okay button so now guys let's see the output for this let's refresh so it's still compiling guys so you just need to wait until it gets compiled over here so guys it is compiled now and now let's you can see it's refreshed okay so you got a click me button but we are going to check this button has the bootstrap class or not so now let's give a class is equal to where button button primary save it so this is a bootstrap class guys okay so it's still compiling let's wait let's refresh so it has not come let's inspect and see guys what's happening over here let's go to our head i mean at this head tag where you can find that link of this icon but we cannot find our bootstrap and custom css so guys let us just reserve this npm run dev so let's get back and let's control c close that and again start with npm run dev hit enter so this we need to again if it doesn't load you need to just restart your development part okay for this next.config.js file so sometimes it doesn't load that so we need to just restart it okay so let us see okay so guys it successfully compiled and now you can see perfect so our bootstrap is integrated guys so let me just show you one more just design over here as inside this div let's use a class name called card and this padding 5 so you can just save and you can refresh yep perfect so you can get this design guys so guys we have successfully configured with the css files now let us see one demo with the js file okay so you just need to go to your getbootstrap.com and search for one drop down okay so let's click on this and let's move below here you can see the drop down works like this so you just need to copy this code and let's paste that in our index.view okay mm, let me make this as container and remove so paste here this is our drop down button let me give margin top 5 and let's refresh perfect so here you can see that drop down doesn't work why because we have not included the js file as here it works so it should work same as it is so guys now let's configure that script file in our next.config.js file so you can find this link right so same way you can integrate the script 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 colon where array brackets i mean square brackets where you can open and close and here guys let's give src colon where inside single quotes you are going to give that path so you just need to follow the static js so forward slash inside js file we need a bootstrap min dot min dot js file okay so this is not a bootstrap min this is bundle min dot js okay so let's rename and clear it out 
bundle bundle.js file so please do not get confused because we have just renamed the file with the wrong name okay so it's a bundle file let's close it and now guys let's give a type for it type type colon where text text forward slash java script so let's save this and now guys let's see the output so we need to just wait for it until it gets compiled done so server compiled successfully let's refresh once again and let's click on it okay it's not working let's inspect and see whether that url has come or not i mean that script tag so let's go to a head tag and you can find the script okay it's not visible so let us reserve the npm npm run dev so it just compiles from the beginning and executes this config file okay so compiled successfully let's get back refresh once so refreshed so you can see guys that the link is found over here src now let us click perfect so guys we have successfully integrated our bootstrap pure bootstrap in our next.js application so guys let's see next video with the new topic like how to design the page how to set your header titles and meta description and body will be checking all the things in detail so guys there are many methods to connect your css and bootstrap js file so you can either connect your css file over here for example you can just create one assets folder out inside this your root directory and just get connected with that something like you can just give a the symbol forward slash your assets forward slash css and then your style dot css file so this is also one method to connect your css files but i'm not using this so if you require you can connect here also and your for the js files or your bootstrap css file you can create a plugin also for this and just get connected okay so it's not that we can connect only by this we can use this the css and plugin also to load this your js file and the css file so guys let's continue in next video with the new topic of this next js web designing so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys and please subscribe like and share